A reading from Saint Paul's letter to Galatians, chapter three. Just as Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, so you see, those who believe are the descendants of Abraham. And the Scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, declared the gospel. Beforehand to Abraham, saying, "All the Gentiles shall be blessed in you." For this reason, those who believe are blessed with Abraham who believed. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, "Cursed is every one who does not observe." And obey all the things written in the book of the law. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the one who is righteous will live by faith. But the law does not rest on faith. On the contrary, whoever does the works of the law will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, "Cursed is every one who hangs on a tree." In order that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. A man offers a bouquet to a woman. What do you see? A gift of flowers symbolizes one's love for another. However, a man can give a woman a bouquet to flatter, attract, seduce, tempt, or even snare her. We cannot know one's heart just by observing his acts and deeds. Every morning, I light candles before holy statues in the parish church. But sometimes I ask myself, if I light candles because I love Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, or because lighted candles make the church look nicer. When I lit the candles, do I offer prayers as well, or do I mechanically do that? As a daily routine, sometimes even I myself cannot discern my heart. But if someone says the heart doesn't matter, only acts do, would you agree? Saint Paul won't agree, especially in the matter of faith and law. As long as a Jew keeps the law of Moses, he is a good Jew. But Saint Paul teaches the Galatians that keeping the law of Moses doesn't bring them salvation, not because observing the law is sinful, but because it is not enough. Saint Paul emphasizes that these without faith don't merit salvation. We cannot obtain salvation by a mechanical process of acts. Such as rituals or charity works, Saint Paul teaches us only true faith from a loving heart will please the Lord. One step further, a man may think that he has faith. However, my subjective conviction on my faith doesn't guarantee my salvation, for I can deceive myself. The Lord, who sees my inner thoughts and my heart, judges and decides my salvation. We are not the one who grants salvation; it is the Lord. <laughs>